How's it going YouTube? We're back at our favorite place today. Got a couple little knickknacks to take care of. Figured I'd make a little video out of it. Let's get inside the shop and warm up. See what we got going on today, boys. It is quite a bit warmer in here than it is outside. Thank goodness, got everything turned on. And stuff is looking better. Eli has been uh, chipping away at his engine, coming together. B18B, we still kind of think it's a piece of shit, but we are cleaning it up and we are gonna use it again. Today though, I have come to the conclusion, come to the conclusion that these wheels right here, 16 by 7 and the tire size is a 205 45 16 nitto neogen these beautiful little rotas are up for sale for good i know we talked about doing this last year um i just didn't really have the funds to do it but this year with selling the wheels and tires my game plan is i'm gonna get a set of i'm gonna sell these wheels and tires and I'm gonna get a set of Nitto NT05s, 205-50-15s, and I'm gonna go ahead and put them on my black multi-spoke wheels, and I'm gonna paint these white and get center caps for them, and then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the ride height again to fit the 15. We're gonna be rocking 15, I think they're seven and a half, 15 by seven or 15 by seven and a half with a 205 50 15. Uh, we'll rock those for a little bit, but my main goal is to get a set, and I'll throw them up on screen right now, of Koenig Countergrams, the brushed lip and the polished chrome face. Um, and then what I'll do from there is I'll take the new Nitto NT05s that I bought for the multi-spoke 15s, take those off, put them on the Koenigs, and then boom, Bob's your uncle. Just instead of buying tires and wheels all at once in one big package, that's a couple grand, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell the Rotas with the Nittos as a package, buy a set of 15-inch Nittos, put them on my multi-spokes, repaint the multi-spokes, rock that look for a little bit, and then snag the set of 15-inch wheels that I actually want that are proper 15 by eight, classic eg size hard to beat that 15 by 8 205 50 15 wheel and tire combo on these uh, 90 civic hatches it's just kind of god tier and as you can see here we're not flush we're sunk we're sunk a good bit and then in the front even though the wheels turn it's still just a little bit sunk so 15 by 8 will 100 percent fill that up and the 16s don't look bad on this car, but I'm telling you boys, the 15 by eights will look a lot better than 16 by sevens or 15 by sevens. Okay, I have some bad news. You guys are gonna have to use your imagination on this. If I'm not lazy when editing this, I'll throw up a video now. I gave them back to him, tossed him some more coin, and I left with Skunk 2, fully adjustable upper control arms, gives you all the camber you could possibly want in the front. I mean, these things will make my wheel go from straight to freaking saucers on the side. You remember back in the summer when we were doing coilovers and lower control arm install on the Civic and I ended up landing myself a camber kit because I was on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody sold me injectors that are stock B-series injectors, but they're for an OBD2 GSR. Mine's OBD1, they didn't work. So I brought the injectors back to him, tossed him a little bit more coin, and I walked out with the Skunk 2 camber kit, the Pro Series camber kit. Well, I should have done more research and I should have known right off the bat that these are not for Civic EGs. Skunk 2 Pro and Tuner Series camber kit that are for Civic EGs make you reuse the anchor. So first red flag, these come with the anchors on it. Another red flag, you see how this ball joint up here is a square and the actual ball joints off center it's not in the center of the square and then you see the cutout how it's like an indentation around this circle on the red part well the eg ones are just a pure square there's no cutout here and the ball joint the circle sits right in the middle i'll throw up a picture on screen right now 
of the EF ones, 1998 to 1991 Civic EF, which these are for. So, red flag number one was that it came with the anchors, and from Skunk 2, their EG Camber Kits Pro or Tuner series don't come with this. This kit is a Pro series. And then this cutout here for this half moon for this ball joint to sit in is not there. The EGs, it's just a square. So I'll throw a picture up on screen comparing this one, the EF one, to the EG one. These are not for EGs. So the Skunk 2 camber kit that I've been holding on to, waiting to do my suspension rebuild when my parts come in and everything, is completely fucking useless to me. So now I gotta go ahead and clean these up, list them on Facebook Marketplace, and just hope that I can get my 150 bucks that I spent on them. These are a Skunk 2 Pro Series camber kit for a Civic EF. I have a Civic EG, and when I bought them, Buddy told me they're for a Civic EG. So I no longer have a front camber kit for this car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some sandpaper, and this and this is supposed to be gold, and these are supposed to be gold. So I'm just going to scuff them up, make them look a little bit better, in hopes to get my money back out of them. I had them listed on Marketplace for a day, and I got hit up like 12 times. So I'm just going to clean them up, take some pictures, send them off to the boys and hopefully get rid of these things. But I'm pretty choked that I no longer have a Skunk 2 Pro Camber Kit for my car. I have one for a Civic EF, but guess what I don't have? A Civic EF. boys and that is what we are left with polished up the faces of the ball joints really quick just so they're not quite as dirty and then wash them down with some of our APC I mean they're looking a whole lot better they aren't dirty at all so I'm gonna go ahead and take pictures and send these off to people but uh, not a EG camber kit super bummed also check out my six spoon lanyard shits hot Anyways, camber kit's done, ready to be sold. Now, um, the EG is really tucked up against this wall and I have to take the uh, rotas off to clean them up and get them ready for sale. And so I'm gonna have to swap on the black multi-spokes today, but we can't really get to that side. So we're gonna kind of have to go forward, backward, forward, backward, take them off and then go backward, forward, backward, forward like that. Um, we'll see how it goes, but right now we're gonna shuffle the EG and uh, that's how much room we got right now, so let's see what we get after we move it. Okay, so with a little bit of shuffling back and forth, I think we have enough room to take care of all of the four wheels. And then we've got a good bit of room. I really need a wide angle lens for this camera. I can hardly capture the full shot with this tiny ass lens so these are the wheels going on the one two three four five six double spoke multi-spoke wheels i don't have center caps i'm gonna have to get them and as you can see there's like eight holes for different wheels and whatnot but these tires are the exact tire size what we're getting these are falcon azenus rtk 666 or something yeah rt 615s these are but these are 205 50 15 so this is a good look of the wheel width and sidewall we're going to get hooked up with however these wheels right there they are 15 by sevens so they're not 15 by eight so we're having this tire size but with an inch wider of tire um, but without further ado let's just go ahead and get these on the civic and see what we're working with And there you have it. The Civic is lowered on the multi-spokes. And if you ask me, boys, I think it's kind of a good look. I genuinely do. I think it's kind of hot. Just imagine, new 205 55 NITO NT05s, and those in white lowered more with some camber. 
I think that'll be a really, really good look. But we here we have the Rotas all washed up, ready to go to their new owner. We haven't picked a new owner yet, but uh, they're off the car. <laughs> Let's go around to this side and take a peek. Yeah, the Civic. To me, these Civics look better with multi-spoked wheels versus the classic five or six spoke TE37 look-alike kind of units. The main issue with those Rotas that are over there wasn't the look, it was the size. 16 is a tad bit too tall and seven's not quite wide enough. Now we're at 15 by seven, so 15 is the perfect height. Seven's still a little bit skinny, but you guys know we're swapping these out for some Koenig Countergram 15 by eight right now. We just need to get center caps, hub centric rings, repaint them and get the new rubbers put on. But I think it's looking pretty hot. And that's about all I had to do at the shop today, boys. I'm basically just gonna move the Civic back into its spot tucked against the wall. It's on the multi-spokes. A lot of wheel work is coming for this car. I'm gonna take pictures of the Rotas and uh, trying and sell them so I get some free cash to dump right back into the car. Took something off the car, sell it for cash, take that cash and throw it right back at the car. You boys know the cycle. Another thing, let me know if you guys have any fixes for this. My rain guard, they only came with double-sided tape around the skirt there, but they like pop up here and if you like push them down to double-sided tape, there's so much tension that a double-sided tape won't stick it down and it if it does, it'll pop back up. But like half of this lip right here is like on the window. So like, how do I keep that held down? I'm not too sure, but multi-spokes on the Civic. Figured out that the camber kit does not fit my car. Now I'm gonna sell the old Civic wheels and the camber kit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I know we didn't do a crazy whole lot in this video, but subscribe for more because we got huge things coming in the near future. Peace guys, subscribe if you're new.